Okay, check out how dirty this is. Not that it's dirty, it's just very unorganized. And this is a problem too. It falls down there. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for uh, joining us. You know what? Um, okay, first, before we go any further, let's get this out of the way right away. Don't comment on the dirty mud mats. Uh, if the mats weren't there, thank God for Tux Mat, because if the mats weren't there, the carpet would be dirty. We went to a farm last night, and it was raining and muddy, so that's why that is. Uh, anyways... Back to why we're actually making this video. Like I said at the beginning, the organization, uh, they I mean, don't get me wrong. The storage on the Model 3 is great. But the organization for keeping all this kind of stuff, uh, you know, I mean, it could be a little more uh, clean. Right now it's a little cluttered. But you know what? This could be a lot better. So which brings me to the point, you know what? Let's introduce this. This right here is made... Uh, move this out of the way. This is made with a 3D printer. Yeah, believe it or not, folks, a 3D printer made this. Um, my good buddy, Jared, just uh, in the same town I live in here, um, he's making this. He's got a 3D printer. You know, I know a lot of people online are making this. I'm not saying he's the only one that's making it, but um, for anyone local in the GTA, which anyone watching in the U.S. and doesn't know what the GTA is, the greater Toronto area, I live in the great white north Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So, with that said, he makes these, and uh, he makes this for an awesome price. This is a godsend, folks. This is, like I said, it's made with a 3D printer with, uh, I guess, plastic mold injection. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But where this goes, look at all the compartments it has. It has a big compartment here for, like, sunglasses or something. Let me get an aerial shot here. For, like, sunglasses and stuff like that. Some more stuff here for storage. And it's all it's got a divider there. A little thing here you can use for your coins. You don't have to, but that's what it's. I guess it's made for. But check this out. This this is cool. Yeah, folks. What I'll do is I'll put a link to his uh, Facebook. I mean, that's where I, I met him on uh, on my Facebook uh, group, the Canadian Model Three group that I run there. Uh, that's where I met him. His name is Jared Pearl. I'll put everything in the description below. You can contact him directly. I. Uh, have no uh, affiliation to this. I bought one of these. He made one of the first ones for me. I bought this one to test it out. I told him I'll make a quick video and uh, give him a shout out. So anything you have to do with him and these, uh, it's between you and him. I uh, am not getting in involved in that. I'm not the middleman. So anyways, let me uh, show you what this does. Remember, like I said, this, the thing was sliding down there. Okay, so anyways, pop that up. That's where all my wiring is. That's ugly when that opens up. So, all you do is you put this in here. It's a nice snug fit. It fits in there perfectly. Look at that. It hides all the wires and stuff like that. It can easily come out if you need to take it out. You just grab it here, pull it out, and uh, you have access to everything down there. But while that's in there, check this out. The most important thing that I love about it, or one of the, other than the organizational part of it, is I put my phone in here. When it does happen to fall because it happens to fall all the time because you know no fault of uh tesla or jada um this is the jada wireless pad there when um the lip here isn't big enough i know nomad has made a wireless charging mat and nomad made a, a bigger lip so that doesn't happen i think uh the second version of jada is coming out has a wider lip to avoid that but for this one when when it does when you do accelerate or just go over a bump or something like that, this slides down but look at that if you see, it has nowhere to go. It'll just slide into there, so I can always access it easily. So as much as it wants to slide, it'll slide, but it won't get lost in that void of emptiness down there. So you put that in. Let's put some stuff in and see how we can fill this up now, folks. First, it's perfect for sunglasses. Throw my sunglasses in there. Everyone needs a pen in their car. If you have kids like me or you're a germaphobe, everyone needs some hand sanitizer. That goes in there. Spare battery for filming. USB card for filming. Some money. Throw that in there. Nice and organized. Call me um, call me OCD, but my denominations go, as you can see there. And if this money looks funny to you people in the U.S., this is called Canadian currency. And you know what? You can even throw another bottle of uh, 
hand sanitizer. Actually, no, you can't. Then once everything is in there, you can close it up. You will never see it. Everything will stay in a spot even if the car shakes down a little bit. When you open this up, it's all there. Now, if I were rich, I'd have more money here and then things wouldn't move around and my OCD wouldn't uh, get the best of me. But as you move around, this will move around. And if it goes like that, you know what, folks? Who cares at the end of the day? But look at the, look at the organization. Like Everything is in its spot, easily accessible. All you have to do if you need to get anything while you're driving, you press this down, it opens up. You have access to everything there. Like like I said, folks, this is on uh, a lot of normal cards. This isn't, you know, we're not splitting the atom here. While you've doubtlessly heard mention of splitting an atom in school or films, you may have missed out on how exactly this can be done. This isn't rocket science. This isn't like a new huge invention. This is just organization. Um, not even organization. This is just ingenuity at its best. Someone decided they needed a little spot here. It would be, work perfect. They did measurements and everything. They created this on a computer with little compartments and everything. And they put this. There's a Jared was telling me there's a website that you can go to that has all the things. It's somethingthings.com. I, I forget it. If I remember, I'll put it in the description below. And it has thousands and thousands of. One million, maybe not thousands, maybe hundreds of uh, different designs for different things. And there's a whole section for Tesla. And then there's a section for the Model 3. And this is where he found it on. Someone has put the design up for free. And they don't, you know, they take the donations and stuff like that. But there's no fee for it. And uh, it's great. And if you need to get in there, you can lift everything up. And the whole tray comes up like that. And then you can just put it back down. If you like this, folks, and you want one of these, give Jared a message there. His uh, information and his contact stuff will be in the description below. Uh, and uh, sort it out with him. I got mine from him, and I love it. And um, there's lots of people, like I said, that make these things. But that's all I got today, folks. That's all for me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.